Hi everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm Esmeralda for those who are new here and for those who already know me. Hi and welcome back. Today's video is a summer glow up routine of mine and it's like the summer glow up 2024 and I'm so excited to show you everything that I do like physically to like glow up and look a little bit more better and like you know prepared for the summer going on a walk taking care of your skin all of that stuff but there's also like internal and mental glow up that you could do and few things like for a mental glow up i would like to say is like journaling and writing down your thoughts i feel like that's like the most important thing like if you have a lot of thoughts in your mind going on and stuff just do like a brain dump and write everything down and if you want like if you're like shy and like me and don't want anyone to read it or something you can later on just tear it and throw it away but I feel like just writing it down on a paper just helps you like release everything and then you're not like irritated or cranky or moody about it and for the internal glow up I feel like it involves eating a lot of like fresh fruits and vegetables like taking care of your body eating healthy drinking lots and lots of water and also sleeping like seven to eight hours I feel like from the time I've started going to the gym I have been like prioritizing like eight hours of sleep because I feel like like if you work out you do everything you eat healthy you drink your water do all of those but you don't like give your body rest for it to recover and for it to just like function properly you will not see any progress so I feel like sleeping eight hours is like a minimum and if you even want to sleep more go ahead it's the best thing you could do for yourself but don't like sleep in too much like also go out be productive also going on walks and stuff like that so just taking care of your self like externally as well as internally will help you like glow up for summer 2024 and uh, in this video is just like physical but uh, let me know if you guys want like a mental internal like I'll also share with you guys a few healthy recipes that I've been eating and everything that I do extra so that I can also feel good from within but yeah without any further ado let's just get started with this video so I just got back from the gym and I had such an amazing workout today because I did my legs and whenever I do my legs I feel so nice and good because I feel like I've done like a very nice intense workout whereas when I do my arms I don't feel that much but I feel like my arm strength is like really bad and I cannot like lift a lot but with my legs I can do so much and literally my leg press I do like around like 100 kilos which is crazy and I feel like whenever I do my legs I just feel good and I feel like most of the girls feel like that like leg days are the best days I feel so that being said let's move on to our summer glow up routine and there's no better way than starting it than doing our everything shower which to be honest I have not done for the past two weeks I would like to say and the only reason is because I started going to the gym and I feel I still have to like uh, master my schedule of washing my hair and stuff like that like I want to wash my hair like after every like three days and I used to first wash like every once a week but now because I go to the gym my hair gets all sweaty greasy and it's not at all a vibe and for the past like one week or so I was just struggling to like because I don't want to wash my hair every single day so I was just struggling with the entire process but now I actually have something so I got a baby powder to put in my hair when I'm not washing my hair actually you could also do a dry shampoo but I don't know I I just don't like the dry shampoo thing because I feel like there's a lot of chemicals and stuff like that and I feel like it will like clog my pores and all even though this also might be doing the same thing but I feel like there's way less chemicals in this because a baby uses this and I don't think so there's a lot of like yeah so there it's like free from parabens dyes something else so it's I feel like it's so much more better than having like a dry shampoo and I feel like the price is really cheap like a dry shampoo is super expensive so I feel like baby powder is doing the work for me right now and I don't do like a lot I just do it like over here like on my what do you say this crown and I just like put the powder and just dust it and it, it does not leave any like residue of white thing in my hair or anything it's really nice I really have been loving it so I've been doing that but I'm thinking that I should like wash my hair every three or four days maximum because after that even I like 
get grossed out with my hair so before we get started i have two things that i want to do first is applying a hair mask and i normally do the pheno hair mask but you're supposed to do that in the shower after you shampoo your hair but i'm just going to use this gizu one for now it's their honey infused hair mask and the next is dry brushing my entire body so yeah let's just get started with it So I'm done with my hair mask and I just like applied the hair mask on the length of my hair not on my roots and while that's actually marinating my hair for like 20-ish minutes I'm going to move on to like dry brushing my entire body and you're basically supposed to like dry brush your body like towards your heart so wherever you're doing like if you're doing it on your leg and stuff you just move it like in an upward motion everywhere just to your heart like on your stomach you can do like a circular motion to it but on your back and stuff you just like Pull it all towards your heart. in the shower I would actually normally like film while I'm taking a shower and stuff like that but it kind of gets a little bit messy and I have to every time like use my wet hands to on my camera off my camera do all of those so I'm just going to show you guys everything that I use in the shower and then later on I'm just going to go have a shower and then see you guys later on so for our body we have these two products the first one being the Pears bar soap and you can use any bar soap that you like I've been using this one because I've been using it since I was a kid so it just reminds me of that and the next you use a normal regular body wash and actually you can use like a nice fragrant body wash I'm using here the Nivea soft cream with almond oil it's like a regular basic body wash that you could have and we have these two products together because lately I've been like double cleansing my body and the reason is because it's already like summer right now and also I'm going to the gym and stuff so I've been sweating and also I just want to like double clean my body as well like how you do it for your face so you firstly go in with like the bar soap you put it on your entire body wash it off and then you can use your body wash and I've been doing this lately because I've been going to the gym and it's summer and all of that so it's like a little bit sweaty so this works really well you feel really nice clean and fresh and I would actually not recommend you doing this every single day because I feel like it's going to strip your skin off but every like once in three days or something you can do this and you just feel extra clean for my face, I have this CeraVe's cleanser. It's the hydrating creme cleanser. And to be honest, I've not been loving this product. And the only reason is because it does not like foam up and it does not make me feel like I've washed my face. Although if you have like a super dry skin, I feel this would work really well. And the only problem that I have with this is that it does not foam up and I don't feel like my face is clean. Although it cleans my face, it takes off my makeup, everything. And it also leaves your face like moisturized later on. I feel like that's the whole concept. Like the creme hydrating cleanser so it leaves your skin moisturized after you like wash your face like it does not like make your skin feel dry and all like you know that crackly stuff it does not make it feel it's really nice but it just does not give you the feeling that you have washed your face and for my hair I have the square shampoo and conditioner and it's the medium hair one and I really 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 love these products and I've been using it for a very long time now now it's almost getting over so I want to like get like the refills for this and I'm just going to use the same bottle which is so nice and efficient and I feel like it's also much cheaper than buying like these bottles and also the quay detox shampoo which is with apple cider vinegar I feel like it's amazing I love it so yeah these make your hair also smell super good I'll see you guys now once I'm done with my shower. Okay, so I just got done with blow drying my hair and I just used like this um uh, wand on the Dyson I did not like curl it or anything and you guys I am not liking uh my hair i'm not liking the length of it i don't know what is it but for the past two or three days i'm feeling like this and i just feel like my hair is long and it's just like blah like there's nothing to it it does not have any shape or anything like that and i am not liking it so i'm thinking that i should chop my hair a little bit because also like the ends i feel like they are like a little bit dry and uh, actually there's like this test that you can do let's check 
so if you like take your hair and it falls that means it's healthy but i feel like my hair is healthy only so like at certain point it just like stands up straight and that's like the damaged hair and you can cut it but i don't know i just want to cut it a little bit more because normally my length is like this i never go like below this and now it's grown like wait let me show you like as you can see it's just like long there's no shape or anything to it and i don't know if i should like go outside like to a hairdresser and cut it or anything because i've done it over year like i've been here for over five years and i've just cut my hair twice like from a hairdresser most of the time i just cut it at home like i just trim it at the ends and like over here also like at the ends i just like trim it so i don't know what i should do or maybe i should just see a tutorial on like getting layers or something do maybe like the butterfly cut i don't know i'm not sure but i just want to cut it i have like this urge to just cut my hair and i feel like it's going to be nice like for the summer every time i reach this length i like chop it off and then i regret it actually i was like oh i should have grown it out a little bit more but i want some shape because if i go to a hairdresser at this length and i say that i need like a long layers or something they literally like make it this short they make it very short which which i do want i want some shape but i want the length of my hair i don't know if they'll understand because every time you go to the hairdresser it's such a like hit or miss like sometimes you can like come out crying and so disappointed like same with your nails so that's why i've even stopped going and doing my nails because i cannot like sit and argue with them and tell them like it's not right or anything i'm like too kind to be like oh yeah okay whatever you know it's like fine Skincare is done and now it's time to wash our face and oh my god wow like everything is pink right here so cute but yeah gua shaing if you want like your face to be more snatched looking for the summer you need to gua sha every single day i would like to say and i've not been doing it like honestly i have not been gua shaing i even made like this rule that whenever i do my skincare i will gua sha but it's not working as you can see i don't have like a jawline or cheekbone or anything going on so i've not been gua sha ing but yeah just gua sha your face if you want to look snatched and you want to just like make your face look less puffy and stuff like that just gua sha it's amazing and you're just hoping that i also gua sha every single day because if you have like a lot of um what do you say like water weight on your face and stuff amazing it just like drains out everything so yeah I just decided to do my nails right now and my nails have been like this like nothing on them for such a long time now I've not done like um, like the press on nails or anything like that but I just wanted to paint my nails like regularly but like gel nails because I have all the supplies so I just got like my base coat my top coat and my um, like the color of my choice i have like this pink color it also has like some glitter particles in it and it's like the pink gelac one then i have a puffer to just buff my nails so that my nail paint like stays and i also have a uv lamp to like dry your nails once you apply the gel so that it hardens and i feel like having your nails done like for the summer like even your toes is like so elite and it just looks so much nicer cleaner like crisp and i feel like having like a nice fun bright color for the summer is like so pretty so that's why i'm choosing pink and next time i will probably do like a yellow i was thinking to do like a yellow or a blue right now but i feel like i should just stick to pink because i'm doing it after such a long time and i don't want to like do a color which i'm not like later on happy about so we'll do pink for today and i feel like now like the trend of having like long nails is like gone like it's also like I don't know I'm I'm also not feeling it actually like to put on like those press on nails because first I used to put on like my press on nails which were like super long but now I am actually not interested in having like super long nails I want them like short but I want something on them so yeah let's just paint them and make them look all cute
गुड मॉर्निंग इट्स द नेक्स्ट डे यू गाइज ऑफ आर समर ग्लो अप रूटीन एंड येस्टरडे नाइट आई डिड माई नेल्स एंड दे टर्न आउट सो प्रटी दे लिटरली लुक सो क्यूट एंड दे ऑल्सो हैव लाइक दीज वेरी फाइन लाइक स्पार्कल्स इन इट लाइक द ग्लिटर एंड इट लुक्स सो क्यूट आई एम रियली ऑब्सेस्ड विथ माई नेल्स मे बी आई एल ऑल्सो लाइक ग्रो माई नेल्स आई लिटल बिट नाउ बिकॉज ऑल दिस वाइल आई जस्ट बिन लाइक चॉपिंग दम ऑफ बट आई फील लाइक इफ आई एम गोन टू लाइक पेन दम एंड स्टफ आई फील लाइक अ लिटल बिट लॉन्ग अर वुड ऑल्सो लुक नाइस एंड ऑल्सो डू सम नेल आर्ट ऑन इट आई हैव सीन दिस वन वीडियो वेर शी डिड लाइक लेमन्स एंड फिशेज एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डू सम नेल आर्ट टू माई नेल्स बिकॉज वेन आई वॉज अ किड आई इज टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ लाइक नेल आर्ट्स एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू सिट बट टू बी ऑनेस्ट इट टेक्स सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम लाइक टू डू योर नेल्स बिकॉज आफ्टर एवरी कोट यू नीड टू लाइक पुट दम इन द यू वी लैम्प एंड ऑल बट इफ यू हैव लाइक अ गुड थ्री फोर आवर्स लाइक एक्सपेयर यू कैन सिट एंड डू योर नेल्स एंड स्पेशली इफ यू आर डूइंग नेल आर्ट एंड ऑल इट इज गोन टेक यू अ लिटल बिट मोर लॉन्गर सो ऑन आर लिस्ट फॉर आर समर ग्लो अप वी ऑल्सो हैव शेविंग आर फेस एंड आफ्टर आई शेव माई फेस आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू शो यू गाइज लाइक अ नाइस फन सन किस्ट मेकअप लुक सो फर्स्टली लेट जस्ट शेव आर फेस एंड हैव लाइक अ नाइस क्लीन कैनवस टू वर्क ऑन एंड देन मूव ऑन टू द मेकअप So for our summer makeup look, there are three main products that you have to have to use in your makeup routine, especially for the summers. First being the blush, so that you can get like a nice sun-kissed look. Then we have bronzers, so bronzers or contouring, anything that you wish, you can do that. But I also like to just do it like on the, like on the. frame of my face not like anywhere else then also next being a highlighter so you just want to look sparkly glowy and just dewy and nice and fresh so these three things blush like your bronzer whatever and your highlighter <laughs> You guys, I just cut my hair. Like I just gave myself like some face framing pieces, and also like on the bottom I cut a little bit. But I actually wanted to cut a lot of hair off, like this much at least. Like look at it, and I just cut like. tiny amount and the reason is that i'm just going to wait until like tomorrow day after tomorrow and just see if i still want like i still have that urge to cut my hair and then only i'll go ahead because i know if i will chop off a lot of hair at once i might regret it like how whenever you go to the hair salon and they cut like a lot of hair off you feel so bad and i have done like a lot of uh, what do you say hard work to grow my hair this long so i just want to wait for a couple of days and see if i still have that feeling of like cutting my hair if then i might cut a little bit more but for now i'm just liking it because at least like in the front like 
I have some like you know shape to it because first it was just like blah and now I also have like this the shortest piece is like till here so yeah I'm really liking it and also when I like tie my ponytail or something like there will be few pieces like falling off which looks so cute and I'm really like liking it right now and also when I was cutting like this side was so much more easier to just cut off than this side like literally I was trying <laughs> my best and then later on I could not do it so I just like bought these pieces ahead and I just like cut it to that length so I was like feeling a little bit sad in the middle because I was feeling like this layers like as in the what do you say the hair is like cut like this but this is a little bit choppy I feel like that but it does not matter I feel like it's just like blending in and I feel like whenever summer comes around you have to have to chop your hair off like I don't know what it is but you just have this feeling this urge to cut your hair and it always like gets to me but uh, this time I've like done it smartly I've just cut a little bit if I feel more I might go ahead and cut it and I'll keep you guys updated obviously okay this angle is a little bit like off but uh, I also want to make like a nice summer inspo on my Pinterest and just have it there because I have like so many things that I want to do for the summer as in like hobby wise and please let me know if you guys want like a video or like I just like tell you guys like some cool hobbies that you can like pick up this summer and I'm so excited because they all involve like creating something making something and then you can also use them which I love like even like crocheting how I told you guys before like you make it and then you can use it which is amazing i actually want to make a top i seen the other day when i went like shopping like just in the front there was like a material and on the back there was just like two strings and i felt like i could crochet it because it was super easy you just like do one stitch to it and but i still need to figure out because i'm not that expert in crocheting and stuff but i feel like again like you know you can try out different hobbies for the summer so i just want to make like a list and like just have pictures and just have like a vibe going on for the summer so yeah i'm just gonna sit and do that actually i just put it on the screen so that you guys can see it much better but there's like a lot of things like a lot of jewelry of like seashells the flower clips and everything like that like all summer related like fruits and making like these clay trinkets and stuff and i also have in this a lot of of like picture in spores that you could take whenever you go on your vacation or just in general just create that atmosphere and just click your pictures because I did this last year I guess I got like strawberries and chocolate and stuff like that and I did like a whole photo shoot eating like strawberry covered chocolate and stuff like that so it was very nice and it was just like outside in my balcony so you can just sit at home and also enjoy your summer but you just need to know what you want to do and not just scroll on your phone. Thank you.